Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through searching strategies. That is nothing but backward chaining and forward chaining. So to be clear, forward chaining is nothing but I'll be just giving you a small example. After that, we'll be discussing guys. Okay, so first let us go through forward chaining. So forward. So there will be two facts or two or more facts given and the result. So from the facts, you'll be going to the result. So this is nothing but forward chaining. Whereas backward chaining is nothing but from the result, you'll be finding the facts. That is backward chaining. So if you take a small example, Ramu is a boy, all boys are good. Okay. And the result is Ramu is a good boy. So from these two, we are concluding this. So this process is nothing but forward. Whereas from this, we are, if we try to get these two things, then that is backward. Fine. So the diagrams, you'll just go through them, guys. Let us discuss. So determine to deter, so determine if a decision should be made working backwards looking for justification for the decision so it will be in this way guys so initially you'll be having the final decision you'll be dividing it into two parts and you'll be dividing them into facts so this is nothing but your backward okay so i told you from decision you'll be going up whereas forward forward is nothing but opposite right so gives some facts works forward and you will be getting your result so i hope everyone got a small idea so this is observed in your prologue language which is one of the most important language for your programming of ai fine Okay, so let us go through the characteristics of problems, guys. So the problems which we will be discussing is, is the prob the problems are, is the problem decomposable into a set of smaller problems? So the things that you will be thinking of this searching is nothing but you will be checking whether the equation or the fact can be reduced further. If it is further, you will be reducing it. So can a solution step steps be ignored? or undone if they do not move towards the solution so basically you are you will be doing many types of paths right so only among them only one path will be right so is there is there any need to store all the unwanted paths so you need to it's waste right so you need to undo them that will be better so is the problem universally predictable so you can say the answer perfectly or accept exactly as your friends say okay so is the desired solution the path or the state so are you going in the correct path or not? So these are the main things that you should go when you are doing a problem. So you need to think of these problems guys. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So in the next lecture, we'll be starting with the exhaustive search guys, search techniques. Thank you. Thanks for watching.